Bob Berdella is a serial killer who tortured and killed at least six people. His crimes first came to light back in 1988 and made headlines across the country. Today, the pain associated with Berdella's crimes continues. A family member of one of his victims contacted KCTV5 in complete disgust. Well, that's because people can buy evidence from the crime scene. Here's KCTV5 investigative reporter Angie Racono. It's disgusting but true. There is a website that has all sorts of items that anyone can buy, and this is police-seized evidence. It includes the dog collars found at the scene, a victim's T-shirt, and even a cleaver. Now, all of these come with the original police evidence bags. So how can something like this even happen? Bob Berdella was known as the Kansas City Butcher because he chopped up his victims and left them in the trash. He pled guilty to torturing and killing six people. He died in prison in 1992. For decades, he's been a dark chapter in Kansas City's past. But for some families, the pain is back. Crime scene evidence is up for sale. The buck saw from Berdella's home is $1,900. Fireplace ashes with the evidence bag are $1,750. The drain cover from the basement, also with the evidence bag, $2,500. Even the camera Berdella used inside his home is for sale. It comes with the evidence bag and two photos of an unidentified male, $15,000. The website offers to throw in his signature too. What you are seeing horrified a victim's family member. So the fact that things like this show up on there is um, not surprising. Um, but uh, it I wouldn't want to see something like that if it were me and it was my family member. Sergeant Jake Bikina with the Kansas City Police Department understands the family's frustration. There are those civil processes that can take place that would require the releasing of old evidence in an old case that has been completely adjudicated and, and finished out. All of these items were properly seized and properly stored by Kansas City Police for years. What happened next reflects what can happen with evidence. The criminal case ended rather quickly, and then families of victims sued Berdella in civil cases. It appears their attorneys requested evidence. One would think those items would be returned to the original family members. Somehow they ended up with the estate of Del Dunmire, an eccentric millionaire who also bought Berdella's home. Long story short, Dunmire was a bank robber turned philanthropist. The website Supernaut credits Dunmire's estate. He's dead, and Supernaut never returned emails we sent about the crime scene items. But police do believe all of this is authentic. And that includes the collar seized in Berdella's home, a dropper which may have been used to torture victims, and the T-shirt worn by the only victim who survived and escaped. That's $3,900. But obviously we know that there's, there's a market uh, an aftermarket or a, a black market or an internet market for almost anything. Some of the items for sale have nothing to do with the criminal case, but America's obsession with serial killers. Berdella's paintings are available and also his catheter. That is disgusting. And just to give you some perspective about this website, our company software originally blocked it due to content. And the family member of the victim we told you about was very upset, didn't want to talk on camera, saying the family has been through enough. We agree and respected that decision. But we followed up with the police department to learn how these items were for sale. And the bottom line is this is not what the Kansas City Police Department likes to see. And they are aware of this website and other Facebook pages, which also sell what's considered murder obelia. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News. And that website is also selling items from BTK. He is still alive. His letters and drawings are going for a couple hundred dollars a pop.